Welcome to Lady Mary Beth. Thanks for popping in. I will give you a glimpse into my vintage teacup collection. It is too beautiful to keep to myself. And even if you're not a collector, you can appreciate the beauty of these, and I will share with you ways to acquire them affordably and incorporate them into your home. antique English barley twist cabinet is perfect for housing my teacup collection. I feature this in the entryway of my home in close proximity for serving in the dining room and we can enjoy these. This is a special cabinet to me. My parents acquired it some years ago by way of England and my mother later shipped it to friends in South Korea for the opening of their antique shop and many years later it arrived unexpected in a wooden crate on my doorstep via airmail and I was able to start a new collection and still have this wonderful piece to remember my mother. The barley twist started in the 1600s in England and it got its name from the barley sugar twist. You'll see at the bottom, they have that design feature and the pretty beading, I just love it. When I see it in period dramas, I get so excited, it makes my heart sing. I love the barley twist. And the shelves are very shallow, which are perfect for teacups. So let me show you inside. It's so much fun to collect teacups. They're very affordable. They don't have to match anything else that you have. And if there's a particular pattern that you've admired over the years but don't want the whole place setting, then you just find a teacup and you can always have a piece of that pattern. I wanted to show you this not only because it's beautiful but because I accidentally left the price tag on the bottom. This was $9.99 and it's the Dresden Flowers pattern from Bavaria. I have no idea where I bought it but I did see the price on the bottom and obviously I haven't used this one for company. It's so pretty. So for $10 you could start a collection. And I have teacups from five different countries. That was not done purposefully. I just simply took a look uh, to get an idea. Uh, Japan, England, Germany, the United States, and France. And some are modern, most are antique, and they're all so pretty. This is sort of a chinoiserie design. This is from England, this is Ainsley. Some of these are rather expensive manufacturers and others are not. They're Foley China, for example, from England. And there is another one that I've always admired. This is a very unique one. Isn't that gorgeous? This was on eBay and it is Royal Chelsea made in England. And I just admire the beauty of these. And the neat thing is you could use white plates or neutral color and you could pull these out for company for a ladies tea for a shower and add interest to your event. And this I wanted to show you. This is a replica from the Royal Collection of Queen Victoria's China pattern. So her teacup would have looked just like this. That was a special gift from a friend who knows that I enjoy tea and collecting teacups. And here's an example of one that's rather modern. This is French and it is Bernadeau Limoges. Isn't that pretty? So it doesn't have to be stuffy or old looking to have a teacup collection. And this is the classic Wedgwood Jasperware. I'm sure that you've seen this before. It's a rather heavy cup, lots of fun. And this is one, the cuckoo pattern from Wedgwood, that's a fairly new one. And I just think it's just so neat. I like the different shapes of the saucers and the colors. Some of these are hand painted, some are transfer wear. This is a very inexpensive one that I got at shopgoodwill.com with some other teacups. And I love to feature fresh flowers in this for events. It just somehow excites me with the colors. Such fun. And this is Royal Terra. I don't even have to look at the bottom. I remember that. And the shamrocks are so fun. You could take that out if you're having a, a spring 
tablescape that you're designing or a St. Patty's Day party, put something fun in that and you can dress up your table. So they're not just for admiring, you can use them, you can incorporate them into different design. This is the only one that I have that's from Japan. Isn't that lovely? The orchid, I think it's beautiful. There are just so many different ones. And this is one that I bought from a friend's moving sale, estate sale, and it's a way that I can remember her. I think that's really special. And I encourage you to take a look when you're at thrift stores or Goodwill, and you'd be surprised what you can find. It also makes a really good gift too for someone. You could put something special inside, not just tea related, and present that to a friend. And finally, I'd like to show you a pattern that I have admired for years, but yet I don't have the space for an entire set of 12, but I wanted to have a little piece of this. This is the turquoise Florentine from Wedgwood, and I just think it's lovely. So you can have a small piece of it and admire it without having all of the place settings. Some of my favorite places to acquire vintage teacups are eBay and shopgoodwill.com along with Etsy. You can also check local antique stores and thrift shops. The most important thing is it should please you, something that you find interesting. And be sure to look at the mark on the bottom so that you can learn a little bit more about the teacup. Most of mine tend to be made in England or in Germany. Finding teacups at thrift stores or online is a fairly inexpensive way to start a collection. And with two or more, you've already got a collection of your own. And you don't necessarily have to feature them in a teacup cabinet. You could put one on a bedside table for a guest or just keep one to put your jewelry in. There are many different uses for teacups and I think they're really pretty and it reminds us of days gone by. Get inspired to find simple ways to beautify your life and tea table. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.